thread veins or spider veins of the legs are very common. Research from Scotland has shown that 88% of adult women suffer from thread veins or uh, spider veins of the legs. They're known, especially in the States, as spider veins. Unfortunately, they're also known as broken capillaries or broken veins, which is ridiculous because, of course, a broken vein is a bruise. So I like to call them thread veins or spider veins because that way we know what we're talking about. One of the most important things with thread veins of the legs is to understand that they can be related to varicose veins underneath. In fact, research from Australia in 2001 has shown that 89%, so almost 9 out of 10 people who have thread veins on the legs, actually have underlying varicose veins. Now why this is important is it means that when women, as pet particularly, but men as well, see thread veins on their legs, they quite often think they can just go to a cosmetic doctor or cosmetic nurse or even beautician and have them treated. One out of ten are likely to get a good result because it is only the thread veins they can see. But the other nine out of ten have got underlying vein problems, which will mean that any attempt at trying to treat those thread veins without un investigating and treating the underlying uh, veins first is likely to fail. The best way to treat thread veins of the legs is a process called microsclerotherapy. And this process is only started once we've treated the underlying varicose veins. So once they've been treated or we've actually done a scan and found you haven't got any underlying varicose veins, we can plan microsclerotherapy of the legs. It's far better to do microsclerotherapy than laser or intense pulse light or any of these hot needle sort of techniques like electrolysis or radiofrequency because you don't get the underlying veins feeding into them with those techniques. Microsclerotherapy is the only one where you get the veins you see and also the network of veins underneath it. The technique of performing microsclerotherapy is relatively simple, although it's highly skilled if you want to get good results. Using a very, very good lighting and using a great big magnifying glass, we insert a very, very fine needle that really shouldn't hurt much at all if you can even feel it. And we inject a substance called a detergent or a sclerosant into the vein itself. This is basically a poison that only works locally. It only kills the vein we've injected into. And within seconds, it's protein bound by the rest of the blood. And so provided we stay within the safe therapeutic limit, in other words, the maximum we can give, it doesn't have any effect on the rest of you anywhere else. Once we inject that sclerosant into the thread vein we can see, it's very pleasing because we can see straight away that the vein has been filled and it looks like it's disappeared. Of course, what's really happened is the sclerosant's gone into the vein and killed the vein wall. We've flushed the blood out of it, and so it appears that it's just gone away completely. At that point, it's really, really important to make sure you keep the blood out of that vein and let the body start to heal it. So what we do at the Whiteley Clinic is we put compression on straight away. Firstly, one of our assistants pushes on the vein to keep it empty. Then we use some tape to keep the pressure on the actual vein itself, usually with a pad over the top. And when we finish the whole of the process, we then put a compression stocking onto the leg. We keep that compression stocking in place day and night for 14 days and nights. As research has suggested, that gives us the very best results. It takes the body 14 days and nights to eat away the vein. We do tell our patients to take off the sticky tape, mind you, after a couple of hours, because otherwise you can get blisters from the tape pulling on the skin. So our patients take the stockings down after a couple of hours, take all the tapes off and pull the stockings straight back on, and then if they want really good results, don't remove those stockings for the 14 days and nights. After 14 days and nights, all the dead bits of vein show up really as red, nasty areas. And this is, you can't really hide it away. All these thread veins are on the surface and therefore the skin around them is reacting to the dead vein. It looks a bit bruised and battered and quite often really doesn't look very nice at all. What happens then over three to four weeks is they start to fade away. And by the time we get to six to eight weeks, they really are looking quite good. By three months we can see which veins have completely disappeared and which ones are going to need further treatment because they didn't have enough sclerotherapy in them or might have been on the periphery of where injected. Or of course they might be ones that we didn't have enough sclerosant to inject at the time. What's really interesting with sclerotherapy and microsclerotherapy is it could be right up to one year before the whole of the uh, benefit is seen. And I've seen cases where right up to one year later there have been some thread veins that eventually disappear at about the 12 months 
even up to the 15 month stage. So sclerotherapy is not something to do if you want to get a result by the weekend or by next week. It's something you do for the long term and also that's why the results work so well in the long term. Here's Wendy, one of my patients, who's going to talk about her experiences with microsclerotherapy. I'd had varicose vein surgery. Um, I'd had problems with my varicose veins over the years and um, I browsed on the internet, found the Whiteley Clinic and um, was absolutely amazed by the website. Um, the testimonials were fantastic um, and that's what prompted me to actually visit Mr Whiteley. After the microsclerotherapy I was able to wear shorter skirts, I wasn't restricted in what I could wear, I spent my life covered up with trousers. The procedure just feels like tiny pinpricks in the area. Um, it's not, it's slightly uncomfortable, but it's not unbearable. There was no downtime after the procedure. I could go straight back to work. Um, I happened to have it done over a Christmas period, um, so I was already off of work. Um, however, I would have been able to work the very next day. There was no downtime at all. The compression, obviously, by its nature, feels very tight and restricting on your legs. Um, but not too uncomfortable at all. It was very manageable. Following the procedure, uh, I had the compression on for a week, um, and when I removed the compression, there was still slight bruising there, but I'd say after another week, everything was all clear and my legs were back to normal. From start to finish, the, the treatment that I received, meeting Jules on reception, she's so welcoming, she's so friendly, and um, all the sonographers going on to see Mr. Whiteley afterwards, absolutely brilliant. What's fantastic about the White Clinic is that everything's explained to you, every step of the way, it, everything's explained to you in words of one syllable. If you don't understand, they'll go over it again for you. No time is any, any question too silly, too small for them. They're very, very understanding. So nothing was traumatic at all. I would certainly recommend this procedure to anybody, anybody that's got a problem with thread veins in their legs, either before or after surgery, I would recommend it highly.